Go ahead. Go ahead. What? Happy Ready? 50th, Anita. I know, yeah. Hi, Anita. Happy 50th. All oh, right! Hey, she's going to thank me. Thank you. I think all of the characters have these certain kinds of descriptions. You know, I mean, Henry talks about, you know, he's the most nicest guy. He went along with everything. Um, and then the story kind of unfolds. And, and Julie has a couple as well, right? I mean, you have... Yeah, you do. I mean, in the sense of, like... Well, let me tell you, you have a couple. Right? <laughs> I mean, like, when you think about it, like when we go on a date, right? You know, you're telling me that you, you, know, you, want, you don't only want to be good, you want to be great. You want to go to Hollywood, right? And yet, you know, you're still, you're kind of trapped. You know, like you see that boyfriend and he's like, he's such a dick. You know? And then I say, like, how was rehearsal? And you say, duck. <laughs> right? Yeah, how was rehearsal? Food. Yeah, you know you want to get out, right? It was Chekhov's last play. You know. The two people who are just waiting to be ignited. You know. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they kind of they activate each other in an odd way, you know. And by the and and you know you kind of. You know, Julie's kind of a loose woman a little bit. She kind of goes on this date, and this guy who's kind of safe, you know, and then you kind of make him like... That kind of loose. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. How do you feel about having Henry's Crime being screened at the Woodstock Film Festival? Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it was the uh, American debut of the film. Uh, we were at the Tinker Street Cinema yesterday, and... Uh, People liked it, which is great. And uh, um, I came up with uh, Limor Savan, who's you know had a really long relationship with the festival. Uh, she's kind of a local girl with the festival, and uh, you know she worked on producing the film. And uh, Limor Savan is fiercely independent, <laughs> and I mean that in a good way. Um, yeah, so it was just exciting to, to to have the film, to have an audience, to see the film being seen. And, uh, and we have a screening today. And every time I uh, get a script and make a decision, it's not only for me and my, my own um, curiosities. And, I mean, I love stories about awakening, and I think I'm always drawn to that. And I feel if I, if I choose that way, I can never do wrong, no matter how, like, cancer, it, whether the character has a darkness to her. If there's an emergence from that, and, and, and I look for that, but I... I do now, especially with this uh, being in pre-production for the, the, the next uh. Well, you know, when you hear people kind of respond to the film, it's, it's really, I don't know, it touches you. It's, it's really great, yeah. It was the first two screenings here in the States, and, uh, you know, we just came from the Toronto Film Festival, and it was great to be here, and uh, it seemed like people really enjoyed the film.